Michael and Cynthia, one by one, the players lined up and brought their equipment here to the coach's SUV. A premature end to a very successful season so far. As the sun goes down at Lytle's football stadium, so do the spirits of these boys. They've been told to turn in their pads, jerseys, and helmets just two days before a big playoff game. How do you feel about having to turn in your equipment? Not so good because I just wanted to finish off this year. It's not that happy. I want to finish it. Pretty bad because this is my last year and I wanted to go all out. But now, that's not going to happen. Coach Josh Chapa explains why. Basically because the small town youth football conference deemed that we had two ineligible players. Basically because they weren't enrolled in Lytle ISD. Mary Enriquez is the mother of those two players. She says her kids were homeschooled and that she specifically put that on the application. She says they played for two years with no problems until someone recently complained to the board. They're 10 and 11 at the most years old. It's little league football for heaven's sakes, not the NFL. You know what I mean? And they've devastated these kids, all because of my kids, and which is unfortunate. So because Mary's kids were technically ineligible, the whole team has been disbanded. We myself knew that they were, you know, not in line. And I knew that first and foremost they were boys and they just want to play football. And that's why we let them play. But those good intentions are over. The board decided rules are rules. A tough lesson for these young men who still learn the meaning of one important word. Brotherhood. And many of the kids say they hope to be back on the field playing again next year. In Lytle, Ted Garcia, Fox News at 9. Back to you, Michael and Cynthia.